What the? Oh, what the hell happened? Did my game just totally glitch out or something? What the heck is this? Oh, are you kidding me? Great. <laughs> Not even ten percent. What the heck? Okay, well, the game may be unfinished, but hey, at least they put a ramen stand in. you say um hello Yeah, it wouldn't be a Noor Heroes game without some sort of retro callback. And this is, uh, this is the, uh, inside of Juvenile's mind, I guess? She's a big fan of asteroids, I guess. Okay, so the gimmick of this level is, uh, you actually do have a special move. If you press Y, then you'll actually do that big spread shot. But the gimmick of this is basically you need to find the mothership, and then you just need to shoot the core a little bit. And that's all you do. Moving on. <laughs> I do appreciate that the retro game isn't just a shoot 'em up again. They actually did mix it up a little bit. It's still not particularly interesting, but I don't know. One thing that the shoot 'em up sections definitely have over this is that they have killer music. Anyway, so it's kind of hard to tell where the airship is sometimes. Um, you'd think that the missiles would be coming out of the airship, but they're actually not. They're just spawning out of nowhere. Shit. There's the airship. Mothership, rather. Okay, let's get rid of these. Shit, really? Where does it spawn us? Fucking all the way back? Oh my god. I can't believe this loser has never played Asteroids before. There we go. Okay. Round three. <laughs> yeah, this... This game's kind of weird. It's funny, when I first played this, I, like, discovered the mothership immediately, like, every time. Like, I just happened to choose the right way to go. But, uh, I guess it does take longer if... If you have trouble finding it. Oh, jeez. Watch out for the missiles. There we go. Mission complete. And we're already out of there. What a fucking jip. Damn budget cuts!
We'll never get our Act 3! Already in the final game. Wow. Okay, so back at our trailer. Yeah, freaking hell. So, Killer Marathon, if it wasn't obvious, isn't finished yet. <laughs> um, believe it or not, this is actually a game they are adding later as DLC, the full Killer Marathon. You can even see the boss of Killer Marathon on the cover. Like, they still have his design and everything. So... I'm not totally sure if it was intended to be finished when the game came out, or if they're just saving it for later because they couldn't finish it in time. That being said, Suda does have a tendency to dangle something in front of your face and then say, no, you can't play it. Just look at Let's Shake. Just look at, uh... Uh, in No More Heroes 2, Henry just casually killing three of the ranked assassins off screen and showing pictures of their corpses with him standing in front of them and saying, Sorry, we ran out of budget, so you can't fight these three bosses. Um, so I feel like it it's almost a running gag with Suda and the No More Heroes series that here's this cool thing that you can't play because we didn't finish it. So I, I was a little annoyed at first, and then I'm like, well, I guess every game in this series does it, so whatever. Um, regardless, Killer Marathon will be in the game, uh, ad added later for what it's worth. Um, yeah. Cool, cool. Anyway, so only one more Death Ball game left. Yeah, we're already, <laughs> already pretty far in. I am currently in Japan. Okay. Fuck this one. Not gonna lie. Screw this gene location. We need to. We need to actually go in, and so I can give you the nitty gritty on how this bullshit works. This one is the worst one in the game by far. Good luck doing this without a guide, by the way. So basically, back in this room, all you have to do is just go to the sixty fourth floor and pray. Once you've actually loaded into the 64th floor, this is where it gets done. Uh, this is where, looking up a guide, I realized that, oh wow, this is actually a randomly generated level, which I never even realized on a first playthrough. But essentially, there are four different layouts that this area can be. There are four. And the only way to tell the difference, outside of like, I guess if you put them side by side, maybe you could tell the difference. But the easiest way to tell is this room right here, because... Depending on the layout, there will be a different amount of coins. One, two, three, or four coins. So, uh, if there are four coins, sorry, back to the trailer. Believe it or not, you can only find Gene if there is one, if, if there are three coins. Uh, if there are one, two, or four, you can't get her, even though you can hear her meowing, and, but no matter what you do, you will not be able to get to her. You need to actually keep going back to the trailer and reloading every single time, including these multiple cutscenes over and over again, until you get the three coin layout. This took me ten freaking resets on my first playthrough. Let's hope it doesn't take that long this time. Okay, thank god. It's my third try. Nice. Okay. I am not exaggerating. That did take me... 10 reloads on my first playthrough. It, I I thought I was going crazy. Like, the mythical three-coin layout was just a myth. But no, it, it, it really... It's only this one. So, yeah, you actually have to fight through uh, two rooms of guys. And once you do all of that... You can head down after this section, and uh, you will enter a secret room. And this room has a ton of coins... It has an Azteca coin up here, and it also has Gene down here. Gene is actually hidden off screen, like you can't even see Gene. She's right here, meowing like a maniac. Why is Gene not here? Oh, because I grabbed Gene and I grabbed the coin, and then I exited, and then my computer blue screened. Awesome. Uh, the cursed uh, Windows blue screening, even after updating to Windows 10, still happens. My computer's fucked. 
And, uh, yeah, so unfortunately, Gene has already been rescued and the game was saved. But trust me when I say, there is a coin in here, and there is Gene right here, right where I'm standing on the three coin layout. One room above, one room down. Yep, back to the trailer. I'm, I'm very annoyed right now, I'm sorry. It's not the game's fault, it's my computer's fault. Thankfully, I only lost this five minutes of footage of getting Gene. I didn't lose anything else. Thank God, it could have been worse. Okay, back at our trailer, and uh, yeah, believe it or not, that's actually it. <laughs> Let's just uh, head to our motorcycle and uh, start the next part of the uh, visual novel experience. You're getting a double dose of it in this part. I hope you're happy. Chapter 5. <laughs> Chainsaw. Oh. Damon Riccatello. Oh, this is going to get personal, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> Destroy, man! <laughs> my musk is my clone. Uh. Yeah, pretty much. Most smartphones are more powerful than computers. At least the average, like, office computer, at least. <laughs> Mappy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. The original streamer. Huh. <laughs> 
Malore. Travis is an Unreal Tournament, like, master, apparently. Huh. <laughs> Believe me, I've sampled tons. Have you ever had virtual ramen? Damn, he remembers too. Could you please stop saying that, Travis? You look like a total dork. Oh god, the Mega Beef Ball Challenge? Uh, oh, okay. Croatia? Damn. Suspense <laughs> music. Oh, well, that was easy. Spoken King's a way harder bodyguard than that guy. Okay, Travis wasn't kidding about this guy being an asshole. Oh. Yikes. REVENGE! Someone tells me he's gonna be back. <laughs> to be continued. So, if it wasn't obvious... <laughs> Damon Riccatello, I'm pretty sure, is a stand-in for the CEO of EA, John Riccatello, at the time. Not, he's not the CEO anymore, but he was 10 years ago. 
and I'm pretty sure that part of the novel is a bit of a fuck you to him, specifically because of Shadows of the Damned, which was EA published, and uh, the story of Shadows of the Damned, the actual like development story of it, is pretty sad if you actually read into it, because pretty much it boils down to EA dicking over Suda in a lot of different ways. Um, like, just rejecting his concepts for the game in, in general, and the final product not being 100% what Suda wanted it to be. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of sad if you read into it, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty brutal, <laughs> call out, almost. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's actually another, another interesting thing about that, too, but that we'll get into uh, in a bit, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, read up on the, uh, archive for Sirius Moonlight. What the heck? The title screen is all we currently have. Expectations are maxed out. Dev is locked in a room. That's English for a uh, serious moonlight. <laughs> Eight arrows sticking out of the heart? Okay. What terrible opponents await. I feel like this picture doesn't fit with this logo, but I don't know. Do I sense a werewolf game? Nice. Okay, so. That being said, let's, uh... Let's just jump straight in and, uh... Into our final game for the uh, Death Ride Mark II. Serious Moonlight. Under the moonlight, the serious moonlight. I'm not a good singer, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why I don't try anymore. Uh, get ready, by the way. You're in for a treat. 